This is the eye stabilizer monopod. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna actually, I was uh, kind of putting this video off a little bit because I have been working on other videos, but I was like, I wanna do a privacy care video, but I don't wanna hold my phone and record. So I was like, hey, I need to go ahead and unbox this. Go find my scissors. And I found him. There we go, ain't nothing to it but to do it. It's just a little, little uh, stabilizer thing. You put your phone in it. Let me go ahead and just use the Galaxy Nexus as an example. It's not activated, so it's annoying me about that. But uh, we'll put it in there. I've got tons and tons of these little things now, fortunately. I've got an XL one and I've got like five <laughs> so you got this little thing and you can like that's straight up and then you can whenever you have a position just right you can spin it and lock it and it's not going anywhere and you can you know have this point at your face and you can make a video using your front facing camera or the back camera but with the front camera you'll actually be able to see like if you're fully in the shot and etc so that's why you want a phone with a good front-facing camera. If you're curious, I actually did a video comparison test comparing the Nexus, the Galaxy Nexus, the Evo 4 GTE, the Galaxy S3, and the Note 2. The HTC, HTC One is supposed to have a 1080p front camera, and so is the Galaxy S4. So I will be back. I will have an S3, S4, Note 2, and HTC One front-facing and back-facing camera test and audio test because you. Not only do you want good quality, you want good audio. Like the EO4 GLT has terrible audio when you're recording videos with your phone's camera. So, I was putting all the way to this on the phone, so that's why I did that. So you want a good front facing camera and you want a good audio. The Galaxy Nexus does not have a bad camera. It's 720p and the audio is not too bad either. But the Note 2 by far has the best front facing and back facing and audio. At least that's what everybody commented on the video. I'll link to that in the description. So let's go ahead and turn this baby on. Oh, it's got a little thing right here. Nice. So you can disconnect the uh, XL version or, or the standard version and put the XL version for the Note 2. Or let me, let me be right. <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could put this on there too and shine light on an area that's maybe out of reach I don't know for whatever reason you would want to do that another pretty cool use would actually be attaching the uh, like a Canon power shot and then it just spins freely around on here and it goes any direction and then like I can say I want it I don't know like say this is about appropriate for like filming yourself and you can walk around with your camera like that and talk to it and it's like full it's like much stable and better than if you didn't have it let me go ahead and switch to this camera here in a second all right let's go ahead and do this let's power baby on and then I'm going to show you what I'm seeing in three two one all right that is what you're what i'm seeing when i look at you i'm talking into my rode video mic pro right up there <laughs> so that's it all right now it's well let's let's go ahead and turn the main video off now too all right so this is the eye stabilizer mount you can put a power shot on it and how stable is that footage have you ever noticed that like while you're recording a video like this the footage like the sound is covered up because you're accidentally touching the microphone you're not touching any microphones so it's definitely a huge advantage and I <laughs> I'm gonna be using this for like when I do videos like this so I don't have to like hold a camera like this and if I had my phone in this right now I could see the front facing camera and see exactly what uh, you're seeing 
Right now, I don't see exactly what you're seeing. I just see a lens, and I, I don't know. It's, it's uh, if they made like a Canon Power Shot that was 1080p with the little front display on it, man, that would sell like hotcakes. Hotcakes for people like me that love using the front-facing camera on phones so we can see what's in the video and what's not. So, what do you think? I mean, links to the eye stabilizer monopod will be in the description. You'll want to check it out. You can put your phone on it. If uh, if there's something way up high and your zoom won't reach it, you can twist this. Oh, I didn't even show you that. Holy cow. Um, and then you lock it back. And then look at that. Like, that's <laughs> you're far away from me. Like, very far. Hopefully you're not seeing... You're probably seeing my mess, but yeah, you're pretty high up there. Look, you're touching the ceiling. Say hi, ceiling. <laughs> so you could like technically record something that's very far away from you. So it's like something up high and it's, it's awesome. It really is. So definitely check it out. Links will be in the description. I feel like I'm talking to the ceiling now because that's where you are. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, links to the monopod will be in the description, and links to the camera will be in the description, the PowerShot 330HS. I like it. I recommend it. Let me bring you down now. So each level has its own locking thing. It's got a little button on it that tells you if it's locked or like, uh, it's got a little white button on each one. So you got several different levels and how far and how high it can go. Freaking definitely check it out. Links to everything in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. Okay, I lied. I do want to cover something real quick, as I did not show this in the video. You can take this and make it real short, or make it so long that it doesn't even fit in the frame. I'll go from this end. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculously high. And then it has these little white um, things right here. One, two, three, and that's it. So it has a little text right here. Hopefully you can read that. It says, turn right and push upward to close. Pull and turn right to lock. So there you go. You make it a short little um, monopod for like, you know, for not so far away from you. And then you can make it a much longer one. Definitely, definitely check this out. It's not much. It's like 30 bucks, I believe. <laughs> and it's just a cool little piece of uh, technology that makes our life easier. So yeah, uh, I have a second channel where I post videos like with my front facing camera or with this camera. And a lot of times it's mostly unedited stuff. Just like, hey, um, actually I'm fixing to do one right now since I'm done recording this part of the video and talk about the video that's uploading or exporting right now. So yeah, check out my second channel please. And uh, I'll be using this monopod in several, several of my videos. So to give you an idea of, you know, how awesome this thing is and how many uses you can, you know, come up with it, come up with it, come up with it for. I can't even talk. I'm done. I... I am turning off the TV, I am turning off the Xbox, I am turning out the light, now I'm dark, and you shouldn't be able to see me, but now, for now, I have risen, and now you can see me, but I still can't see you.